Uh, hello. Oh well. Hello, everybody. Your viewers here. Yeah. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we beat Brock and various other things. Now, between episodes, I said I'd try to get the Nidoran mail. Fifty minutes later, no Nidoran mail. So, what am I going to do to replace it? Against the Zooey Puff. I am using a neater and female. Yep, this will be my next member of the team. However, though I do have one thing I do need some help for you guys from you guys. Our friend Nidoran needs a name. I do not have any name for it. No, seriously, I do not have a name for it. Also be our jokes out today. We'll put you to sleep. And I'm gonna have to switch out. Well, anyways, hopefully in this episode, once Jigglypuff finally decides to die. Oh man, Kerbson feels so good. So we'll be going through Mount Moon. Oh good, that's how you take down a tank. Status ailment. But anyways, yes, that is my goal for this episode. Make it through Mount Moon. No, you shall not save my scratch. No, you shall not put me to sleep. Nice. Well, anyways. That all the way. Need our girl level 12. And learn Double Kick. Really, really good. Hopefully, in this episode, we can get two Pokemon of ours evolved Nidoran and Charmander. And why? Because Salazar is actually eight experience away from evolving. Eight experience points. Also, back there off the ledge, there was a little indent along with the trainer with the sparrow that you can get in Hornberry. Oh well, nothing too important. Finally, feels good not to be grinding. No, seriously, that was like the longest hour of my life. But anyways, it's time to head to Mount Moon. Start things up. I hope I have enough repels. Now, starting off this... Damn it. I'm gonna have to work with this bad controller. Starting off this dungeon, we can get Bullet Seed plus, three new, plus four new Pokemon, believe it or not. We're gonna go fight you. Alright, well, fighting you, I'm gonna go over the new Pokemon here! First off, Zubat! Zubats are meat into blood and pain! It is a very... Ah, oh, crap, yeah. It is a very common poison type, it is fast, he was level 22, and even though I would say Zubats are really worth training for the... Uh, Final Evolution, Crobat, because of game programming, you cannot get Crobat in the game until after you beat it. I did not recommend it that well, so yeah, unless you want to use a Golbat, you are kind of SOL. Next up, Geodude! Geodude is a bulky ground type Pokemon, amazing defense, it can some good moves, however it is slow. Very on the special side, it crap load of weaknesses, especially the water and grass, two common types in the region. It has a lot of weaknesses, and even though I'm not a huge fan of Geodude, I did do a nose lock once with a Geodude and made it to the final boss, one, from Mount Moon. So yes. Next up, you're gonna use Kakuna. Ah, I'm gonna go use Salazar just that way. I can evolve him. Next up is going to be Paris. Paris's. These guys are terrible. Even though they do evolve level 22 and have some good attack. Downside. They have a crap load of weaknesses. I mean, like one of the most number of weaknesses out there. Two, two weaknesses to fire and flying. Trust me, flying types are very common in this region too. Trust me, and... Oh, what? Salazar is evolving. Otherwise, fair is not worth it. Don't do it. So you need gut. And flesh. And drumroll, please! We 
have Charmeleon. Salazar? You're 20 levels away from becoming Charizard. Right. Um, okay. Paralyzed heal. One more Pokemon here. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna warn about sneeze. Came too late, oh well. Next up, Clefairy! Well, I'm gonna talk over while doing this. Talk about Clefairy while doing this bio. Why? She uses a Clefairy! Level 14, too. Clefairies as a Pokemon. It's a rare normal type here with very, very good bulk. I'm gonna use Double Kick. But, anyways, Clefairies. These guys are, are round stat wise and have. Oh, you just screwed yourself. They're, they're very good stat wise. They're pretty balanced, and even though they don't have their competitiveness as they do like an X and Y, they still are really good. They have a very wide move pool, and even though they do evolve with the Moonstone, which you can get one here, Mount Moon, Moonstone, of course you would be able to get one. So yes, nice, here he's dead. That should be a level. Yep. But yes, at level 45, they do learn Meteor Mesh, which is a very uncommon move for them to learn. Yes. So anyways, these little indents here, you can find some items here. I'm not too keen on trying to find them, simply because I don't really need to. Got me another repel up, okay. Come down here, and... We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon against us. We strike fear with our strength. So, this is the first battle with the Team Rocket Grunt. Sandshrew? Yes, Team Rocket, these guys will become a pain. But not right now. Uh, I'm going to send up for Monkey Bob. thing is, I know Monkey Bob is like far away from evolving. He evolves at like level 28, I think. 24, 28. It's not a pretty level. was up at like 11 o'clock last week. That's not the main point. Stop missing, damn it! It's gonna be a running gag, isn't it? Thank you. Nice, Monkey Bob grew to level 14. Radita. I wouldn't freaking kill that Radita. Ah, crap, I just remembered you have lowered accuracy. Gotta get you out of there because riotas are the evilest thing in history. Trust me, they are the evilest thing in history. So, yes. We gotta get to this dungeon. Double kick that mother... Double kick that mother trucker. Sorry about that awkward what? Zubat. Mount Moon normally gives me some trouble. I mean, not a whole lot, but it does give me some trouble. No! There we go. I can't remember if Nidoran evolves at 14 or 16. I know they evolve at a really low level. And... 16. Okay. Ew. Potion you. I should have bought more potions at all. Okay, seriously, after this dungeon, there's not much for in terms of potion needing. So come over here, we get ourselves a TM if I remember right. If I could, there we go. Star piece. Let's see, 
the other den. I'm thinking. Okay. I can't remember where all the hidden items are. There's a lot of hidden items on these floors. I just never bother with them because I really don't need to. So. I'm just doing repels because we really don't want to do encounter Pokemon every 10 steps. This guy. What? Don't sneak up on me. Uh, also, something else I should say. Nina Ren Female is actually doing a lot of things. Like I said, still needs a name. So anybody comes with a name, you'll do that. I'll try to work something out. Well, okay, you're going to get me yourselves a rare candy. That's what okay. Yeah, I know, we need to go. Well, that was quick. Now just come, ba come back here and get yourselves an escape rope for you escape from the dungeon. Nice. There's this guy here. Alright, I'm actually get baiting for fossils here. Sometimes rock, computer, or gems give me in. Did we go down? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we are going to run out. Hey, look, a loss. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. That was a rather quick battle. Anyways, come down here. This is what I was thinking of. And here we get a rock grunt. Okay, I want to leave with Nidoran. Come up here and we get TM46 Thief. Steals an, steals an opponent's item. It's a good dark type move. It's a special move in this game. And it's pretty good. So now we get ourselves another rocket grunt. With a... I'm leaving these rocket grunts in because these are kind of required. I mean, I mean well, this and the first two grunts are, aren't really required, but after that, they pretty much are. Uh, energy drain, oh well. Oh uh, yes. The events aren't really that good. Trust me, you'll be fighting a lot of rocket grunts, and a lot of rocket grunts will have zoo bats. So, um, what? I don't want to do. I'll keep Nidoran in. Hopefully, Nidoran can evolve after this fight. I hope. I really want Nidoran to evolve because. Really, really becoming good at once it evolves. Good at this. Because actually, one of my goals for this dungeon is to have Nidoran evolve into its final form before we exit the dungeon. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing. All right, I am actually what I'm doing right now. Actually, I'm actually looking up to see its move form. Hold on, give me a moment. Well, go here and you get yourself an ether. Yeah, that's a thing. Hold on. Well, I'm also looking at the shiny forms of them. Shiny form of Nidoran and Nidoran... Of the Nidorans are opposite color. Alright, uh, pal. This is my last repel. Wait, I have another repel in my... Did you come to explore the cave too? Yes I did! And Nidoran grew to level 16. Yeah, no losing stinks. What? Nidoran is evolving? Yep, we now have a Nidorina! Let's look at Nidorina's stats, shall we? Calm Nature? Yeah, that's serious boost to stats, especially the defenses. I mean, defenses are turning out better than Salazar. Well, it's Calm Nature, so of course I'm not gonna have the best special defense, but still. 
a lot better than Monkey Bob. I mean, Monkey Bob has trap for defense. And I'm gonna go heal Monkey Bob quick, and then I'm gonna proceed on. Potion. There we go. And I'm gonna go switch Monkey Bob to the front. And then we're gonna go into the TMs. Put TM case up the top. Thief. I'm gonna be teaching Neatering a Thief. I know at level 22 it learns Fight. Thing is though, I'm not really gonna be needing Fight that much. I mean, I'll be able to give me like some Dark and Ghost type moves later on, so I'm gonna get her to Growl. And plus, let's face it, if Psychic Type comes, it's gonna mess up Nidorina one way or another. Because Psychic Types are broken in this game. Well, they're not broken, they're just really powerful. So, yes. And also, because I want to evolve my guy up to... Um... Need a Queen before the end of the dungeon. Yeah. That's what I do like to do. However, though, that's pretty much for Nidorin male. Because, to be honest, I have never used a Nidorin female before, and I plan on using Nidorin female the entire way. Throughout the entire game, I'm going to go Nidor... Nido Queen. I've always went with the King, never went with the Queen. And it's always good to have a change of pace. Trade an offensive Pokemon for a defense Pokemon. Not too bad. I mean... I mean, if my team pans out the way it's going to be, I'm going to end up having a completely offensive team if it weren't for their fury swipes. I'm... I'll get rid of Leer. I don't, I don't really use it. Fury swipes, multiple hit move, not really that accurate, not too powerful, but good for jams. And you're going to use an Onyx. Well, that was rather unexpected. Ah, shit, shit, shut up. Sorry, an upgraded boss fight of Brock? I don't know. Still worth the experience, so that's always a good thing. Wait, I just seen the item. You're a Moonstone, right? Yes! Moonstone time! What? Need Arena is evolving? So now we have Nido Queen. <laughs> Already in its final form. So, that is why I really love the Nido Queen and Nido King lines. You can get them into their final form in this dungeon. Way before a lot of Pokemon can possibly get through a final form. Up here you get a revive, really good. Over there is some foreshadowing. Especially that rock there. Oh well. So we get a rocket grunt here, and I have to use my last one. Oh, eh. Should have bought one more. Oh well. Hopefully this will last me the rest of the dungeon. And yeah, you're good. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Uh, I need an adult! So, right here you get Team Rocket Grunt. Why didn't you have a name? Team Rocket Grunts are people too! Look at Team Cypher! They all have names! Why not Team Rocket? Team Rocket for names 2014! Well, it's almost 2015 if anyone needs- oh! But anyway, something I've been meaning to say, but I haven't been really doing much of, is, well, school. Because, last Let's Play, I was complaining about school with Spanish and such. This year, it's kind of a, ha, ah, freaking fine. They're back, and worse than ever. Oh, it's the first time we ever used Salazar in its second form. But anyways, I am taking two college-level math classes, believe it or not, statistics and calculus. So far, not so bad. Um, I had to drop physics. It was a class I was going to take, but I had to drop it because I needed 
be social studies in order to graduate, because I was like one semester behind, and yeah. So I got world history instead. Not that bad, goddamn freaking. So yes. Other than that, my classes aren't that bad, government is painless. And yes. So right there. Who I want to lead, I'll leave with Monkey Fob. This is the final Team Rocket Grunteer. We in Team Rocket shall find the Buck Pokemon, reviving Pokemon, will earn us big riches. Huge riches, whatever. So yes. What else do I have? Government's painless. I have like two study halls in the morning. Another which have classes open for me. And that's about it. I'm also taking art class. Everybody seen to my logo. So yeah. Zubat. I'll say that Salazar. So yeah, that's pretty much my life in a nutshell right now. Just a casual playing Pokemon. Without a care in the world. Episode 4? So far I'm enjoying my recording. Now then. Damn it. Right here! Moonstone! So you can find Clefairies here, they can evolve them. Also they might be able to holding a Moonstone if you get one and consider yourself a damn lucky person. So for this fight, I am actually going to be leading with Monkey Bob because if I remember, if I remember the first Pokemon correctly, I, I better yeah, I'll, I'll keep in Monkey Bob. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. So consider this guy the boss of the area, Miguel. Ah, uh, I thought he was any of his. Oh well. Yeah. Let's ember this guy. Embers are pretty good special tanks. In fact, they're pretty good tanks all around. I mean, look at XD. The Great Mighty Pooh was a tank. Yeah, of course he killed both. Oh well. I mean, praise Grimoire. Dare I say more? Praise the mighty Grimoire. Man. I'll keep Salazar and I need me a special attacker. So we get coughing, good physical tank. Too bad his special isn't the best. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, ain't gonna poison me, fool. So next up, Voltorb! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Yeah, your, your attack isn't the best, but still, you have good defense. Shake a fossil. Don't no being greedy. No, so you get the dome and the helix. So let's do some Pokemon bios, shall we? First off is Almanite if you get the helix. I'm doing these Pokemon bios for these now because this is the only chance you get, and plus what when you get won't be till very late in the game. Well, if you pick the he likes you get yourself Almanite! Praise BSI He likes why did I say that? He Well, you get that Lauren Savior Almanite! Almanites are pretty bulky with good defense and special attack. He falls level 40 and it's hard to get up to. Because how late you get it, it starts out at level 5, which is really bad. It does have a good move pull, just saying it's hardy raise. Because of how late in the game you get it. I mean it's like before the seventh gym, so you're at least you can get it. 
Next up, if you get if you go with a dome, you get Kabuto. It's more of an attack based Pokemon that's good attack and once it evolves at level 40, it's the Lord of Anarchy, creator of the False Prophet, etc. I'm mean, saying push based Pokemon, oh well. Like Ammonite, you get at a low level and it's not super good until you get to level 40, which is a really long time. Depends on what you want for your fossil. I'm already going I'm already going with a dome fossil because I really want to. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with the Elix. Alright. There we go. Oh! I just heard a Zubat. That is actually one feature in the game because if you stay around long enough, you'll be able to hear cries of Pokemon. I just remembered that. Well, oh, by the way, these floors are full of terraces. They're in the Well, they're. Oh, well. We are free! Alright. Start things off. I'm gonna go down here before I forget. Damn it. Control work with me for once. Right here you get a raspberry, completely useless. Anyways, come up around. Come up here! A kick of brutal ferocity. Back with destructive power. You get down right to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Yeah, so you get to teach the Pokemon Mega Kick. And we're teaching it to Nita Queen. So, I'm gonna get rid of Tail Whip. And poof, got Tail Whip. And got Mega Kick. Nice. Simple punching, eh? So, yes, you get Mega Punch. Mega Punch is not as powerful as Mega Kick, but it's a little bit more accurate. Mega Kick is very powerful, but it's not really that accurate. Yes, I wanna learn Mega Punch. In place of Fury Swipes. I'm never gonna use Fury Swipes, it's not that good. Hey, anyway, comrades, in the way of punching. You should run before they see that Misguided Fool will train in the silly kicking over there. Yeah? I train with my head! Boom! Headbutt! We get TM05 Roar. That trainer you can't do anything about, and you can't go right that way. Now then, something very important. This is the point of no return. If you jump down these ledges, you cannot get back to the early a areas until much later in the game. So this is literally the point of no return. Hop down out of these two ledges, and you're screwed. However though, I am ready to go. Now the new Pokemon on this route! For people who play Fire Red, you will be able to get Ekans here. Ekans, they're bounced that way, it's nothing too amazing. It's a good poison type, and even though I say Nido King is better, for which it is, it's still a pretty good choice. If you need a poison type, Ekans will be your guy. Just know there's only three Pokemon in the entire region that speak the poison, so keep that in mind. And plus, for people who are in Leaf Green, you get Sancho instead. Sandshore is pretty good attack and defense, nothing too amazing, but it's a good ground type and such. She'll not be useful for the next gym, but it can be a good ground type if you need so. Be also useful for not the next gym, but the gym afterwards, because it'll be super effective. Downsides about this guy, I was thinking about using Sandshrew. Thing is though, it has a bad move pool and can't learn anything to a high level. So sadly no Sandshrew. But, besides that, we're finally here in Cerulean City. I just say, next time, Pokemon Leaf Green, we will be exploring Cerulean City and heading off to the route to the north. Get us some training before we take on the next gym, and I don't know, maybe we might be able to get ourselves a new Pokemon. See you guys then.